once again to Kingdom Spies. This is where we talked about the word of Jesus, the word of God, to learn some things from the lives of Jesus and the men of God in the Bible. So I pray the Lord will bless us as well from this little church in Jesus' name. Yes, I want to speak about something from the Bible. So I will say the kingdom spies for today can be taken from the book of Acts of Apostle, chapter 4, verse 13. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled, and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. And beholding the man which was healed, standing with them, they could say nothing against it. These are the disciples of Jesus Christ. They were not like this before when Jesus was on earth. Remember, we can remember the behavior of Peter. Even how he was afraid to even confidently tell people that he was among the and disciples. Even before one young lady, he could not, he was not bold to declare himself as one of the followers of Jesus Christ. So before they were afraid, but um, they have been with Jesus. And Jesus promised them his spirit. Anyway, Jesus had left this time around. He's no longer in the world. They are the only one. But they were able to minister the word of God here after they have received the spirit of Jesus. When they saw them, the way they relate with the, the way they preach the word of God, even when they were called to be questioned, they were bold to answer the question. I mean, the questions, they were not afraid. No more fear. They were so bold to talk about Jesus. And they saw what happened to the man that was healed under signs and wonders that followed their administration. It really caught my attention. But today, I discover people are full of fear. Even we, people that call themselves Christians, that, that, that are following Jesus, there are many things in the world that cause people to be afraid. You see parents, they are afraid of, of their children. You know, their future, the way the world is turning to something else, even the our, our children today, many of them are leaving the country for fear of the future, just to look for a better life. They want to have something they can hold on to. So people are full of fear. And there are so many things going on in so many countries. News of war. In fact, the word of God has prophesied this ahead of this time. But there's something that we must look at. Despite the fact that the world is full of fear, we, believers in Jesus Christ, should not be afraid because we have the word of God. I want us to check and see the life of these disciples. Even though they were unlearned people, but they were so sure of what they have in Jesus. They have been with Jesus. They have seen the power in Jesus Christ. And so they were confidently declaring the mind of God. The Bible says in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, it says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love, and of sound mind. That is what God has given us. He has not given us 
the spirit of fear. So, if you are afraid today, check your spirit. Maybe you don't have the spirit of Jesus. If you have the spirit of Jesus, you have somewhere to run to. You have Jesus to call upon because the spirit is in you. And that spirit can be quickened. I mean, it can quicken your spirit, can strengthen your spirit to face your fear and say no to the devil. You can speak to that spirit. Maybe your children is, is walking somehow and you are not so sure. You can call on Jesus and speak the word to that situation in your children's life, in your business, in your own personal life. If you have given your life to Jesus, you can confidently speak to that situation, the word of God, and it will obey you because you have not given the spirit of fear. Christ has not given you that spirit. I know the world is full of problems today. People are looking at I me mean, here and there to, to just get something. But the Bible says, my peace I live with you. Not as the world gives because the world can't give nothing. The world can't give you the peace. But Jesus has shown us that he has given us the peace. Are you, are, you, are you afraid of your future? You don't need to be afraid. Your future is in the hand of God. You don't need to be afraid of what will come tomorrow because God holds the moral. He holds everything about your life. He has the best for you. So the best solution is for you to have Jesus. When you give your life to Jesus, you have no cause to be afraid. The power, the grace to face the future, believing that something good will happen. God has prepared your future to be beautiful. That assurance will be in you. And that will keep you going. Because God can never fail. So for believers, maybe you have given your life to Jesus you are still afraid of a future. No, no, no. Go back to the word of God. Speak to that fear and receive your boldness in Jesus' name. Like somebody who, who, who called me today. It's a child of God. She said, people just, people will just hate her without any reason. And I asked her, are you a child of God? She says, yes. I said, ah. But the Bible says, if your ways please God, it will even cause your enemy to be at peace with you. And so you can't be a child of God. And people are against you. I said, maybe you have to check. Check inside. Maybe you have some skeleton in your cupboard. So pull them out. Let the spirit of Christ fill your hearts. Your father will cause people. They will love you by force. They will love you by force. Because you carry God. So I want to advise you today. Maybe you don't have Jesus. Or there are still some skeleton in your cupboard that can cause fear, really. Because you have some things that are against the will of God. So put them out and accept Jesus today as a Lord and Savior. You will be bold to face your future and all shall be well. God bless you. In Jesus' name.